This is a Redstone Trainer demonstration conducted on 17 December 1959 at the Redstone Division, Department of Materiel, United States Army Artillery and Missile School, Fort Sill, Oklahoma. Redstone Division was commanded by Lieutenant Colonel George H. Wenzel. Here we see Colonel Wenzel greeting two guests for today's demonstration. Colonel Wenzel will first take his visitors through a tour of the division's classroom facilities. Here we see a classroom training session for the Redstone Mechanical Materiel Maintenance Course, known as RUMC. RUMC was eight weeks in duration. Enlisted students were trained in the mechanical aspects of the Redstone missile. This included missile assembly and fueling operations. Rumsey students were also given an overview of the propulsion system and the pneumatic system of the missile. As seen here, for classroom training, the school employed roll-around mock-ups of the propulsion system and the pneumatic system of the missile. Colonel Wenzel will next escort his visitors to a Redstone Electronic Material Maintenance Course, commonly referred to as REMSI. REMSI was 23 weeks in duration. REMSI students were taught all aspects of the missile's inertial guidance system. The cabinets seen in this classroom housed fire control and test truck checkout consoles and the missile's inertial guidance system components. In this scene, the Chief Warrant Officer Instructor is demonstrating how the missile's pitch program was transferred from a punched tape in the fire control and test truck to a magnetic tape on the missile's program device. Next, the instructor points out the operation of the range computer control console in the fire control and test truck. The instructor is demonstrating how to input velocity and displacement presets into the missile's range computer from the test truck range control panel. Here we see in the classroom console mounted components of the inertial guidance system. The Chief Warrant Officer is now demonstrating the operation of the missile's control surfaces by the inertial guidance system. Next, the instructor will demonstrate several pre-flight steps which are recorded on the 20-pen sequence recorder. The chart paper from the sequence recorder will provide a permanent record of the pre-flight events. The tour will now proceed to the fire control and test truck, commonly known as the checkout van. The console operator seated second from the right is Private First Class Jim Ryan of the Redstone Division's maintenance section. PFC Ryan is demonstrating pre-flight checkout and setup of the missile's range computer from the test truck range control console. On the right is Specialist 5 Eugene Chronister of the maintenance section, operating the lateral computer control console. And seen here is PFC Ted Berg of the maintenance section, operating the van's communications console. Colonel Wenzel is now escorting his visitors to the Redstone Division hangar. The Redstone School's hangar bay housed a fire control and test truck and a fire unit proficiency analyzer van. The hangar bay also housed a complete Redstone trainer missile, 
separated into its three component sections, the thrust unit, the warhead unit, and the aft unit. The aft unit contained the inertial guidance system.